Mike Stanton. It's March 24th. This is the BAM Weekly Muni Market Update. I'm here with Morgan Fahey from BAM's Capital Markets Desk. Morgan, thanks for taking some time today. Coming into this week, uh, a Fed meeting uh, going on, uh, as has become the habit of the market over the last uh, you know several quarters. Uh, the new issue calendar kind of cleared out as people stood back to wait and see what the Fed would do. What was the answer? Sure. So the Fed raised rates by 25 basis points on Wednesday, which was what the market was expecting to a range of 475 to 5% and indicated that hikes are, you know, nearing an end. Um, that being said, a calendar, as you mentioned, was just under 5 billion. We saw outflows kind of continue for the fifth consecutive week, and we saw treasuries were tighter in the short and intermediate part of the curve. So as of this morning, five-year treasuries were about 30 basis points tighter on the week. And 10-year treasuries were about 15 basis points tighter, with the 30-year being roughly unchanged. But it seems like what the market is mostly focusing on is kind of digesting the banking news as that comes out. And you know, this morning we're seeing kind of another flight to quality bid in the market with that 30-year treasury being around, you know, 362, 364, um, you know, depending upon when I was looking at it this morning. So we can show that chart of um, muni market yields over the last five days. You can see very stable, very uh, little movement. The ratios are ticking upwards. Uh, you know, it seems to be coming a, a better value over time as as the treasury market's rallying and muni market is sitting back a little bit. That's kind of the, the technical factors in the muni market. There's not a lot that people have to do because the calendar's light and uh, the the outflows are manageable, right? Definitely. Um, but BAM still had a nice week, kind of despite the quieter calendar. We priced around 50 million across five series and four states. Um, and one deal to highlight from the week here was a 25 million Williamson County uh, mud that was a competitive deal that was bought by Raymond James. And, mm -hmm. you know, kind of as we look to next week, the calendar still looks, you know, pretty quiet from a, uh, you know, historic av weekly average uh, perspective. But as of right now, it's about five and a half billion and just kind of a few deals, you know, here at BAM that we're going to be watching. There's the 21 million Twin River Unified School District in California that's going to be priced by Raymond James. And then a 15 million Lemon Grove School District in San Diego County, which is going to be priced by Loop. We do have a Credit Insights video on that Twin Rivers transaction. That was a, a second part of a transaction that started uh, the first part price back in February. Uh, Todd Thomas from BAM's West Coast uh, office uh, did a discussion of the credit there, so you can view that on BAM's YouTube page. Um, look, any other uh, issues looking ahead as, uh, as you get ready for next week? No, I think the market's just going to kind of continue to digest, you know, the banking news that's coming out and, um, you know, kind of see what the Fed says along the way. And uh, hopefully we'll start to see the calendar build a little bit. Very good. Certainly the analysts are expecting that. You see a lot of uh, reports from, from people across Wall Street saying that the infrastructure needs are still there. So uh, the calendar uh, is likely to mount in the coming months and we'll, we'll see how long it takes for that to, uh, to show up. Thanks for your time, Morgan. Have a great weekend. Thanks, you too.